Hello, North Central Washington, and welcome to another episode of Networked. I'm your host, Jenny Rojanasatian, Executive Director of NCW Tech Alliance, where we use this TV show to spotlight innovative minds in our region. Today, I'm really privileged to meet with a local entrepreneur, Edwin Eaton, owner and founder of iPro Building Services, who's been reshaping the janitorial industry with his unique blend of leadership and vision. Edwin began his journey in 2002 during his college years when he found himself involved with a friend's cleaning company. It was an unconventional start, but one that would unknowingly pave a way for a thriving future. After earning his degree from the University of Washington, Edwin then stepped into the world of hospitality management, bringing his fresh insights into Seattle's bustling hotel scene. However, it was the lure of his hometown, beautiful Wenatchee, Washington, that was irresistible. And in 2005, Edwin returned home and seized an opportunity to prove himself in the janitorial business. Through this goals, he went back to his friend's company and helped expand their janitorial services. After several years and a fresh desire to start his own path, he began iPro Building Services in 2013. Fast forward 10 years later, and we're here to celebrate an impressive decade of iPro's building services commitment to excellence and innovation and in janitorial services throughout the region. But Edwin's vision didn't start there. In 2019, he launched Blueprint Janitorial Consulting, further leveraging his industry expertise and knowledge. As we dive into the conversation with Edwin, we're gonna talk about his foundational start uh, in college, how he grew and learned from other entrepreneurs, the challenges he faced along the way, and what's ahead for iPro as they're celebrating their 10th year serving North Central Washington. Don't go too far. I'll be back on air right here on the NCW Life channel with Edwin Eaton. And welcome back to Network TV. I'm excited to introduce our guest for today's episode, Edwin Eaton from iPro Building Services. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you, it's a pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to get to connect with you because we've passed in, in circles in the business community. Yep. Um, I'm an iPro Building Services client. You are, yes. Um, through my business at Atlas Fair and at NCW Tech Alliance. Yes. Yeah. But I work with your incredible team, which we're gonna talk a little bit it's good to hear. later yes. on. So uh, nice for us to connect one-on-one. -on -one. Before we talk about your entrepreneurial journey and iPro, I'd love for maybe to the audience to learn a little bit more about you. Tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and background. Sure, yeah. Well, I was born and raised here in Wenatchee, so um, started my journey here, okay. um, working, going to school, and then I uh, moved over to Seattle, uh, University of Washington. Right. You're a Coug, <laughs> I know. I know. So, well, great school. UW, you can't, yes. you, can, you can't say anything short of that. <laughs> yes, and there's a lot to do in Seattle yes, too, so it makes right. it nice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I started to go to school there, got into the hospitality industry. Actually, my mom pushed me to work while I was in school, so she helped me and uh, got into a hotel down there, which is part of the career path that I was doing. And uh, so that, that was what I was doing. And while in, in college, my college roommate's uncle reached out to him and said, hey, uh, we've got some banks and we need some cleaners for those mm -hmm. banks. He owned his own janitorial company and he said, you know, would you guys be willing to do it, you know, for beer money? And we're yeah. college students, so right. he's speaking yes. our language, right. right? So we said, sure, absolutely, yeah. we do that, we'd hold it over. Right. Um, and then after he found some new employees, he came back and said, you know, someday you're gonna come back and work for me. I said, no, I'm in the hospitality industry. That's not, I'm not gonna clean toilets. That's not my career goal yeah. here, right? So lo and behold, you know, fast forward, to where we're at now or just before that, um, you know, I'm an only child. Okay. And so my parents, um, I told them that if anything was ever to happen to them, I would come back and take mm -hmm. care of them. I didn't think it would happen so soon mm -hmm. in my early 20s, just right. finishing college, starting my career. And so they had some major health issues. So I moved back here to take care of them in the, you know, mid 2000s. And, you know, here compared to Seattle, there's not a lot of uh, hotels, at least back yeah, in right. the day. Absolutely. Any hotel yeah. chain you can think of is in Seattle. And so coming back here, it was kind of hard. So I jumped around from some sale jobs here and there just to kind of get my feet wet and get some income coming in. Um, and then I, I decided to reach out to my college roommate's uncle. And I said, hey, I kind of want to start my own business. I'm thinking about it. Would you be willing to hire me on to kind of start things over here in North Central Washington? And he thought about it and he said, you know, I think you're a good fit. 
-hmm. I've got enough money to support you for a month and I'll give you a month to try it out. And if you can make your salary back, then we can move forward with this. So no training, just threw me into the fire and said, go with it. And after a month, I made my salary back and then some, and he mm -hmm. said, all right, let's, let's move forward with this. That's inc what an incredible story. And, and thank you so much for sharing a little bit about your background. Um, but another entrepreneur really helped give you your start he did. into this journey. And um, it's a hard path to become an entrepreneur. And you it's need a, a lot of, path. yes, <laughs> you need a lot of support and services, but so rare to have a mentor um, kind of give that support. So kudos to him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He, uh, he did a lot to pave the way for me. And I, you know, I'd love to tie that later in how you're helping pave the way for others because I know leadership and mm -hmm. supporting others is a, a big value for you. Huge so um, when did iPro then turn into your own company and kind of pulled off from that, that former uh, business relationship? Yeah, so we, we started to expand crazy. Okay. And I wanted to continue further. We had a lot of clients. You know, we had one that moved down into the uh, Idaho area down in Boise and said, hey, I need you today. You know, what, mm -hmm. what can we do? And, the, you know, my college roommate's uncle didn't want to expand. Okay. He didn't want to expand further. So we kind of butted heads at a certain point, And then we just mutually parted. And so in 2013, I started iPro, uh, just myself and my wife. And we were kind of doing everything, sales, mm -hmm. cleaning toilets, and... You know, what is it? Russell Wilson, when he was here in Seattle, he said his hashtag was no time to sleep. That's kind of mm -hmm. what it was. There really wasn't any time to sleep because it was day and night, you know, just going at it, building a business. And I imagine a lot of your clients often need services that are not from an eight to five time uh, time frame. Yeah. Probably the majority are outside an eight to five. So you talk yeah. about no sleep. You're, you're really talking about delivering services at all times of the night yes. and weekends. And so it's it's not that. And holidays. And, right. yeah, everything. Yeah. When everyone else is at sleep, exactly. you, you are at work. Yeah. Um, it, tell me, let's kind of from 2013 to now, how has iPro grown? From you and your wife. Sure. Well, yeah, so in the beginning, it's just my wife and I, and so she kind of did all of the paperwork. Well, that's originally what she wanted to do. So she was in the banking industry for about 10 plus years and left a, a great paying job on a chance that we could make this happen. So she said, I'll do it. She dabbled in eBay. She actually sold oh. corsets okay. um, on the side that yeah. she got. And so she was selling those that actually paid the bills, which was amazing. And mm -hmm. so she supported us through that. Um, then we just got to the point, you know, after a few accounts, we figured out, you know, I need to sleep, so we need to hire an employee. And then it went from one employee to 10 employees to 20 employees to 50 employees, and now we're well over 100 employees now. So that cool. we just continue to grow year after year. Well, congratulations yeah, thank you. on that success. Tell me a little bit about your service area. So where is iPro Building Services? Our viewers today, a lot of them are in North Central Washington, but a lot of them are visiting from outside the area. So sure. what's, where's your coverage area? The United States. Okay. No, I, I mean, that, that's the ultimate goal. Okay. Um, but no, right now, just basically the Pacific Northwest. Okay. So we're headquartered here in, in East Wenatchee, um, but we go the full state of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, uh, we've done work in Nevada. I don't know if you're familiar with the show Bar Rescue. I am familiar with so the show. So we did some John, work from them. John Taffer. Uh, yeah, yep. exactly. So I met a couple of the producers at a at a bar that we were cleaning. Yeah. And uh, they said, hey, we need some final construction cleaning companies to do some stuff on the show. We'll get you national exposure. Yeah. And so that happened. And that kind of spiraled some things yeah. for us as well. So. Tell me a little bit about working on a reality TV show. What what? What was that experience well, like? It, it was crazy. Yeah. I mean, we're more behind the scenes, scenes yeah. but there's there's parts where you can see him in there and hear him in there yeah. yelling and things like that and just yeah. getting in and, and, and taking care of it at the end. And so yeah. there's not a lot of us being on TV. TV. It's just right at the end. Yeah. Um, but what a cool experience nonetheless. Very cool. And national exposure, like you said. Exactly. It led to a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies that okay. we take care of today. Okay. That's, that's incredible. Um, let's talk a little bit in these last couple of minutes before we go to a com commercial. We've kind of talked about the highlights and the expansion. What are some of the challenges you faced in this journey from two to 100 plus? Sure. Yeah, I mean, right now, you know, this is a tech show. The biggest thing is back when I started this, technology really wasn't there as much as mm -hmm. it is now. And so, you know, we got paper here, but I'd have notepads and I mm -hmm. would do a bid and I would be page after page after page. And so the process would just take a lot of time. Um, and then pandemic hit. Yeah. And if you weren't prepared and you didn't have the right technology come pandemic, a lot of businesses went out of business, the cleaning business went out of business. And so we were fortunate enough to have some good distributors on board that got us the right type of technology. 
electrostatic sprayers and things like that that were you know huge out there that you had to have to continue to grow and so that kind of helped us get over the pandemic part um, and challenges now is just the workforce the way mm. things are and getting people in and retaining them just recently we started um, a new program i don't know if you follow us on social media which i think you do but... i do I, I love the linkedin posts yeah. about the team and yeah. anniversaries milestone celebrations yeah, and we're not big on <laughs> promoting our services we're big on promoting yeah. our employees yeah. you know two years, five years, six years. So that's the big thing that we do. And so we're just rolling out a new program and we call it, which is kind of weird for the for the area that we're in, but we call it ICE, but it's called Intentionally Celebrate Employees. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big push for us. And that's helped us get out there. And so when we go you know, to you know, new clients, prospects and things like that, they ask us for references. Well, we, we encourage them to go to our social media page mm -hmm. and say, these are our references. These are our cleaners. These are who are gonna be in your facilities. Learn about them and you can see who they are. And that's that's helped us really grow and stand out in the you know in the marketplace. Absolutely, <clears throat> excuse me. I love the um, the trust that you're also building because these are the people that are going to be inside of the organizations. Yes. Yeah. Like we've got your team that comes into NCW Tech Alliance when we're not there or Atlas Fair, and it takes a lot of trust to have an outside entity into your business where you have inventory, oh, confidential yeah. materials. Um, and so I think that's huge in a, in a relationship as well. It is, and you're entrusting us with the keys to your facility. So, right. Yeah. So knowing <laughs> the faces is good. Well, I am losing my voice, so we're going to head out to a quick commercial <laughs> break for just a second. So sorry about that, Edwin. Don't go too far. We're going to dive more into Edwin's story with iPro Building Services when we come right back. Welcome back to part two. We've been on the air with Edwin Eaton of iPro uh, Building Services talking about his entrepreneurial journey um, from a husband wife team to 100 plus yes. um, to a culture that really celebrates and supports employees. So I, th I think that's huge and I really admire you for that. Um, you started to dive into technology tools and how that has been a differential between success and failure yes. for iPro and what you've seen in the industry. Uh, can you talk, dive more into the technology piece? Because I think people, when they think of a cleaning company, they're not going to think high tech. Right. Yeah. So tell me more about that. Sure. Well, I mean, <laughs> you probably have or you heard of it, the Roomba yeah. vacuum cleaner, right? That's like right. the first piece of technology. Yeah. But a lot of the auto scrubbers and things like that are going to AI. It's all technology. It's driven with computers. And so that's kind of the first step. The next piece, you know, we talked about it. It was notepads full of me just taking yeah. notes, trying to get a bid. So like a three ply and then you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, a simple two day yeah. a week account and I'm right. filling a whole notebook up of, you know, my equations to figure yeah. out to get you the best price. And so um, janitorial software is, is huge now to streamline the process. And so there's a lot of them that are out there. They're all dubbed all in one, but it's okay. a lot of stuff that's out there. So, you know, from scheduling to invoicing. Um, to putting together proposals, putting together bids, everything's are, are all put yeah. into these systems. And so that's huge in just the process. So before where it may take me a day or two to get a bid, we can get a janitorial bid, a professional proposal, your, your daily, nightly tasks done in like 10 minutes. Uh, tell me a little bit, did you guys, I don't know if you have experience with like QuickBooks mm -hmm. or more of those traditional accounting softwares with invoices, billing, payroll, what are, what are, I'm hearing so there's some unique factors inside of your industry that those softwares really are not gonna cut it. Right, yeah. well, it's, it's not just that, it's, but yeah, it's talking to the different softwares, the back end mm. to, to yeah. work. And so with us now, we're using you know, a software for bidding and proposals, we're using a software for employee, it's clocking in and clocking out, and then we've got the QuickBooks side of yeah. things. Okay. And so we've got all these different softwares and we're paying all these different companies all this money, yeah. and we don't have anything that's just all set into one. Okay, um, well, let's talk about all set into one. So I think in addition to iPro, you have, expanded as an entrepreneur to go into some consulting and you have some mm -hmm. other stuff on the horizon. Tell me a little bit yeah. about that. Yeah. So Blueprint Janitorial Consulting, I started that a couple years ago and uh, did a couple podcasts and I guess it gave me street cred. And so okay. people started emailing <laughs> yeah. and calling and asking for advice. And so I was giving it to them. And I think the light kind of switched on with me when I had a um, somebody that reached out, a janitorial business owner in the Florida area, mm. reached out to me and said, hey, I saw you on the podcast. I really need your help. I think you can help me on this. It's a huge account. So we worked on this account for about a month and he ended up winning the account and it was a $90,000 a month account. Mm. 
And I thought, man, you know, it was a feel good for me and it felt great. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can do this and help other people. And so we started, you know, I started the consulting side of things. And so we're starting to build up our clientele on that piece. And what I'm finding out from the clientele is they're new. They don't know where to get started. And it was the same thing with me. I got thrown into the fire and all the failures and everything else. I, I figured out what to do. And so I've been helping them with their bidding. You know, I've been helping them with their proposals, you know, their daily, nightly tasks. And then another light switch went off and it was like, I think I need to create something. And so all these all-in-one softwares have sometimes just what you need, but more than you need and you're paying mm-hmm. for everything. Yeah. So I'm trying to, I'm not trying to reinvent anything yeah. in the janitorial software world. I'm just trying to make it simpler and easy to use. And so I've created some bidding calculators for floor work, for janitorial work, for window washing, and then a proposal generator and a scope of work generator. And it's as easy as them just plugging in a few things and then it automatically populates and creates it for them. Um, Streamlining the process is gotta be so important when you're talking about jobs that are $90,000 a month, Mm -hmm. Um, even down to a small job that's a couple hundred dollars a month. And for entrepreneurs, uh, shaving back that time. Tell me how about how important saving time in those pieces is. Saving time is huge. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you're going to grow your business, you got to have time and there's right. never enough time in a day. So whatever we can do to streamline that, like you said, the softwares, the, the different type of technology with mm-hmm. the tools and equipment that we use, it saves time. Even from the simplest thing is washing a window, the old applicator and the squeegee, that's old school technology. Mm. Now there's purified water systems. It looks like you're carrying around an air tank and it's just a brush. You go in, you spray the window, and that's it. You leave it. You don't have to squeegee it off. It's pure water and it just it dries without any streaks. And so a, jo- a window job that would take eight hours now takes three. Wow. So we're able to do multiple jobs and we're able to continue to grow yeah. at that pace. So the evolution of technology is really impacting every area of the operational business right down to the services. Um, I love that you have that pay it forward mentality and have used that start that you got back in the two, early 2000s mm-hmm. and the advice. and But now you can't help everyone. So you're going to streamline it to a consulting company, right? You're exactly. getting all these calls. You yeah. can't help every single entrepreneur. Yeah. So go broader through uh, Blueprint Consulting. Mm-hmm. A- amazing. I'd love to have you back on air once uh, you get your uh, new software going so we yeah. can kind of talk about that. But for our last few minutes, I might want to – let's switch back just into – iPro. Mm -hmm. You recently got some pretty big um, national recognition. So tell me a little bit about that. We did. Yeah, it's huge. And uh, yeah, so we, after 10 years in business and uh, we got awarded, we're not sure what number yet, but we got awarded onto the Inc. 5000, uh, one of the fastest growing privately held companies in the U.S. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's huge. And this is just breaking this week, this past week news for your organization. We'll find out next week or so what number we fall into. But yeah, it's when they actually come out with the the Our staff doesn't know yet. So we have our 10 year anniversary and now this on top. So now we're trying to go big and and blow it out. And pull it all together. What do you have in store for the 10 year anniversary and the years ahead? Well, right now for the 10 year anniversary, you know, I, I event planning. I've got a deep appreciation for that because it's tough. You, you know, know it takes it, a lot of logistics at the Tiger Lines. We do 45 events per year and it is a special Yeah, I don't, skill. I don't envy that, I'm, yeah. you know, having to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, we're trying to get that all figured out. And then once we do that, I mean, the landscape is always changing in this industry. Okay. And, you know, not a lot of people look at the cleaning industry. And I'm just a, a little fish in a big pond, but I'm trying to bring the cleaning industry to the limelight, mm-hmm. whatever I can do with the consulting side of things, you know, putting together a software system and just bring it out there. You know, with the pandemic, I think the cleaning industry got out there a little bit mm-hmm. more because- It was critical. Yeah, was, you, you needed yeah. to be disinfected to keep your business open. Absolutely. So that kind of put us in the limelight, but now we're starting to fall back a little bit. So what do we need to do to keep the cleaning industry out there so people know about it? I love, I want to tie back to what you said a little bit earlier too, when you were in college and um, kind of scrapping by for some side jobs thing. I don't want to do cleaning for a living. Um, And sometimes people think about that hospitality and hotels and restaurants as well, but there's a high value. These are really important jobs that can be amazing careers with great privately held organizations like iPro Building Services. Absolutely. I used to be embarrassed to introduce myself as a cleaning business Mm -hmm. owner. And now I'm proud of it and I'll introduce myself as Edwin and I, and they'll ask me what I do for a living and I tell them I'm a janitor. Mm. I'm proud of it now, yeah. you know. 
It's an essential service. It's it one to be proud of. It is. And uh, building great careers, not just for you and your family, but for your team. For going, the team. Going back to that recognition that you do. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a, a little bit about your team composition and the careers that they can grow at iPro. Sure. Um, you know, I've had one, one employee that's been with me since almost day one, and she's progressed. I mean, she started as just a cleaner, then a supervisor, now she's then an operations manager, now she's a regional manager. And, um, you know, we bought her a brand new, I think it was a 20, in 2020, we bought a brand new 2020 vehicle for her. And I think she just hit almost 180,000 miles on oh, it right now. I mean, she's, she's, got, on the go. she's got a ton of windshield time yeah. and she loves it. So she'll come to Wenatchee, Moses Lake, she'll go down in Idaho, down into mm -hmm. Oregon. Yeah. And so a, a lot of people don't think that there's a career path in the cleaning industry, but there is. You know, my general manager, he came from the radio industry. Yeah. And so he's brought his expertise into this and he didn't think that it was as big as it actually was. And I mean, he's killing it out there too, so. Well, and going back to your award, one of the fastest growing private companies, there's a lot of growth to be had. There is. Um, now, if someone is watching in today and is in need of, uh, you know, a professional like yourself, what are the types, just high scope, that you're offering and where can they find you? Sure. Um, nightly, weekly, daily janitorial, window cleaning, floor care, you know, that's stripping and waxing, that's carpet cleaning, you know, window washing, really anything that pertains to cleaning, we can okay. handle it. Um, like we talked about social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok is huge now okay. for us too. Um, and our website, it's it's a simple website, it's worryfree.cleaning. So there's no .com there, it's a worryfree.cleaning. Worry-free thought cleaning. Mm -hmm. Love that. Edwin, thank you so much for coming on air. Thanks it's been me. really fun to hear about your journey yeah. and success. Uh, for our audience today, uh, be sure to check out iPro, iPro Building Services in your uh, local community. And we'll see you here back next week.